Hello children, welcome back to mathematics class. Hope you're safe at home. We have completed our first chapter. Now let us move on to our second chapter that is addition. Do you all like addition? Yes. What is 5 plus 6? Yeah, it's 11. What is 20 plus 30? It's 50. Yeah, right. Now let us move on to addition of some larger numbers. Yeah. Okay. In this chapter, we learn addition with larger numbers and some real life examples. Children, this is the mind map for our chapter addition. Under addition, we learn properties of addition, addition in real life and estimating sums. In your textbook, you might have seen addition with regrouping and addition without regrouping. We will not learn those two topics for our convenience and let us learn in another way. Alright? So children, let us move on to an example. Here I have an example from exercise 2.1 and first question D. Okay, we have a question. First what you have to do is arrange the numbers in the specific places. You already know the place value chart of Indian system, right? It is ones, tens, hundreds, thousand, ten thousand, lakh. So now I have arranged those numbers in their specific column. Now let us add. So you know while adding you will get carry, right? So the top column is meant for carry. So now let us start adding. So when you add one column, you will get 15. So you have got 15. Write the 15th 5 in one's place. And 1 goes to carry. Now add 10's place. We will get we will get 7 in total. Right? Now there is no carry. Now let us move on to 100's place. It is 6 plus 7 plus 8. You will get 21. So from 21 write 1 here and 2 is the carry for 1000's place. Now add all the thousands place. You will get 6 plus 2 plus 6 plus 2. What is that? You will get 16 and the 6 is here and once 1 go to carry in 10 thousands place. Now add all this. You will get 17. So 7 comes here and 1 go to carry. Now add all this. You will get 8. So what answer you have got? You have got 8,76,175. So children, our next topic is properties of addition. Our first property is when you have to add two numbers. Okay, there will be a first number and second number. If you add first number to the second or second to the first, there will be no change and the second point is if you had if you have three numbers to add if you have to find the sum of three numbers you can either add first two numbers find the answer and then add the last number or you can add last two numbers first and then add first number to it or we can add first and third number and then add the second number to the answer. So in all there is no order to add. You can add in whichever way you want but the place of those numbers should not change. And our third property is when you add 0 to a number will there be any change? No. The number remains as it is right 
and the last property if you add one to a number what will you get you would get the successor of the number got it so children let us learn addition with some real life examples in the smaller classes you might have learned no you know what this is yeah this is a mango so for example 1 kg mango is rupees 30 and for 1 kg brinjal it is rupees 20 and again 1 kg tomato it is rupees 30 and 1 kg carrot it is rupees 20 imagine these are the cost for these things now I am asking you find the total rupees for all this so what will you do you would add all and find the answer right so what did you get in all you have to give 100 rupees for these things now let us learn some examples with larger values okay so children let us move on to an example regarding addition in real life it is a question from exercise 2.3 question number 6 the question is they bought a TV for rupees 45,575 and a refrigerator for rupees 25,615 so we have to calculate how much did he spend in total do you have TV and refrigerator at home yeah so with these values let us add and find how much rupees did they spend okay so first what I did is I arranged the numbers in their specific places the places are ones tens hundreds thousand ten thousand there is no lags here so now let us move to addition we have to add first from one's place it is 5 plus 5 5 plus 5 is 10 it is 10 so here we have 0 in one's place and 1 in tens place so write the 0 here and the 1 which is in tens place write as carry got it now add all the values we get 9 in total there is no carry now add 5 plus 6 which is in hundreds place what is 5 plus 6 it is 11 so from 11 the one which is in ones place right here and the one which is in tens place come as carry for the thousands place now add all the values you get again 11 so write 1 in thousands place and in 10,000 place 1 as carry now add all the values you get 7 in total so how much rupees did Dave spend to buy TV and refrigerator it is 71,190 rupees so children let us move on to our last topic that is estimating sums do you know what is estimation estimation is what is not real but it is approximate to the actual value it is not always possible for us to calculate the actual value so we do some estimation here I have a question from example number six it is a basket contains 370 apples and another basket contains 920 apples how many apples are there in total so let us calculate the estimated sum first now this 370 it is in 100 right so here 370 we can round off to 400 how did we do that it is in hundreds we have to check the tens place and tens place is greater than or equal to 5 it is 7 right so we are changing the hundreds place 
to 1 extra that is 4, 3 plus 1, 4 and remaining becomes 0. And from 920, the tens place is 2, it is less than 5, so the hundreds place 9 remains the same. So 400 plus 900, we get 1300. Now let us calculate the actual value. The actual sum 370 plus 920, we get 1290. So see, it is 1300, the estimation, and 1290. It's almost the same. That is called as estimating sums. There are several problems from estimating sums. So children, what all did we learn today? We learned addition of large numbers, their properties, addition in real life, and estimating sums. Hope you all understood. Have a nice day.